Welcome, my friends, to another edition of Jam Session here on CNC3. My name is Ansel Blaze Isaac Jr. I am your host. And listen, I have a guest on the show today, and I can say one word, and, and the whole of Trinidad and Tobago and the world would know who it is. And that word is Budo. <laughs> I, I can say one word. The word is Budo. And as I say Budo, everybody knows who's here sitting with me. <laughs> Ravi B is in the building. That's so Ravi, everything good? Oh, you're going happy new year to you and the family, happy man. Happy new year to you too, man. <laughs> Ravi, I mean, you know, I, I always... I, I always hear you say Ravi Bree. Is, is it Ravi <laughs> Bree or Ravi B? You know? Yo, we actually had a whole discussion about what, that. What, what, what? I don't know how so sometimes in, I don't know if it's the excitement in the ads or it is when I do it. I sometimes breathe this come on, Ravi mm -hmm. Bree. Mm -hmm. It really meant to be B with a little expression of it. It's kinda of sound like Bree, oh. but it's really B. I said. Because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, my little nephew, his name is Brina. So <laughs> okay, I okay, say okay. Ravi Bree. <laughs> I promote actually called me about it's like, what is Bree? I was like, what do you mean? It's Ravi B, I see. <laughs> Like, no, we hear any Ravi Bree. So I just right? hear Bree. I hear Ravi Bree. So I say, on oh, if it's Bree, I'd ask Ravi about that one if it's Bree or B. So, so it's Ravi B. It's B. Well, well, Ravi, I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to the jam session. And we're in 2024 mm, Carnival. I mean, you're a man, mm. you're no stranger to something like this. I mean, mm. you, your, your history goes way back. When, yes. when would you say that you started officially in the chutney market, because because I know you all wow. used to you all used to do a lot of weddings and mm -hmm. and, and all of that. Yeah, in the chutney soca market. Chutney soca. Yeah, I would say around two thousand and four, maybe five around there. Around there. Yeah, my first song was Gelia Start Me. That was the first song. Gelia Start Me. Gelia Start Me. I do like this stuff. Remember that? Song? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember it. And then uh, the, the following year came with Ram is my lover. Yes, yeah. huge. Huge, it's still in the party, it's very huge. huge. And then after that, we went to songs like uh, Dolari, uh, Jepstein, uh, Drinker. Bread. But bread come in 2014. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. So it's like that. You can tell I like bread. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I like this song, I like, I like this song. <laughs> and, and, and this is, I mean, when, when people hear Ravi B, the, the strange thing about it, somebody at the time, they are saying, you know, they was doing something and they was like, where are Ravi from? I say, well, he's from Grandy. And they're like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, from Central? I said no. Well, I lock it. I lock it. I said, well, everybody says South. Oh, South. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, and Ravi be from South. It's like, no, he's a grandy man. Yeah, yeah, grandy <laughs> man. And people are like, Ravi be from Grandy. Well, we know trees and them from Grandy, yeah. but Ravi be from Grandy. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. So, so how was it? I mean, I, I, I've always heard that you all used to do you and, and your sister and your band used to do a lot of weddings and that kind of thing yes. before you hit big in the Chutney Soka market. Mm -hmm. how, how was that transition from them? From there, from them to now. Well, my uncle and my my father had a band in Grandi um, called the uh, Rampers and Indian and Orchestra. They were the officially they were one of the official bands from Astana. Well, Bahari. I know that band. Yeah, right. I know that band. <laughs> and um, the band room was basically my right right after my room, like a, like a, my room space band room. So like in your house? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, like the band was right there. We was always interested. Like the setup was just like this. Yeah, I would always be interfering with the guitars, and um, you know, I was always a fan. My dad used to sing and play the bass guitar at the same time. Okay, so I was okay. always a real fan of that. Yeah. And yeah, we kind of grew up in it. And then when I was 13 years old, um, they gave me a shot at it, like to sing at you. To sing yeah, something yeah, so with the band back in. With the band back in. Yeah, you feel like a big man. Eh? No, frightened, real yeah. frightened, wow. real, real frightened. And um, you know, I did it and. I got to like it, and from there, you know, I was, you know, saying I was more into Bollywood. You know, I started off singing bhajans and Bollywood songs, and then like when um when we decided to form Karma, mm -hmm. uh, that is when we realized that you know we, we really wanted to do like dancehall Bollywood stuff. But then we realized so we checked the soca market and the soca market have a like something that could work for us now. Yeah. And yeah. there's a space there yeah, for you. It was yeah, basically basically. Yeah. So we've entered into that and yeah, here we are. And and Nisha was the same thing? Because she's she's your younger sister, right? Yeah. No, Nisha's actually oh. <laughs> Should I say this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, it doesn't start already. <laughs> yeah, Nisha, Nisha is older than me, but um, yeah, Nisha used to sing, same thing, bhajans. She, she started singing bhajans and Bollywood songs and Celine Dion songs. She's a really good classical singer. Right, right, right. So, and she used to sing a little R and and thing back yes, then. Yes, yes, yes. And then you all decided, well, you know, this this is something. So, you all, is it that you all turn the, the Rampasad 
Indian Orchestra into Karma. Right. Or so, that was a separate thing. Okay, so the, the band the Rampersat Indian Orchestra at that time was branded as one of the top Bollywood bands in Trinidad. Yeah. And yes, we would do weddings and, and chutney events and whatnot. But then you'd find like when we started venting into the soca and the dance hall and thing, it kind of it was taken away from that brand. Okay. And it, it, there was a little kind of situation where we wanted to like, okay, we are being branded as a Bollywood band and we want we will see the direction change, you know, like where everybody wants to party. In. Like when they go and perform by somebody's wedding, you could only take like an hour at that Bollywood. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Right? Other and than that, you want to party. Really, we sing every Bollywood song slow and they go, hey, we want to chop the way. Sing some soca. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, then yeah. we would have to switch up and then like <laughs> say, you know what, like we, you know, we really wanted to venture into that whole market now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's so, what happened. So you, you started your own thing and, and, and this history from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we uh, it was, Total different. It, it was all about branding, different branding. So we wanted to have a band that into the soca, into the chutney soca, the dance hall, and thing, not interfering from the, from the originality of the rap at that time. At that time, yeah. And and you remember the first time you stepped out in a big crowd. I mean, you know, because because mm -hmm. chutney soca monarch was one of the biggest crowds that you stepped out in early in your career. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that that was something that. You know, I guess you would have been nervous there. Oh, nervous? Understate. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, up, up to the last one in 2017, I was like right before going to Charles Royal right? I don't know why. Something about competitions and me don't really agree. So that is why um, in 2017 when I won, I I decided to bow out. And you, and you stayed bow out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know people say they bow out and they didn't bow out, they come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I mean, the option is always there. The option so, is always, always there. True, yeah. true, true. Are you looking for a customizable studio space with green and white screen cyclorama and professional production equipment to carry out your next big project? SGP Studios is the perfect fit for you. TNT's largest studio space with an overhead lighting grid and sound treated. Perfect for television commercials, music videos, television programs, social media content and film productions. We also have a wide range of production equipment available for rental. You can choose from a selection of Netflix approved cameras, modern lighting equipment, professional audio gear, 40 foot and 20 foot cranes, gimbals, drones, lenses, action cameras and more, all at competitive prices. Whether you need a high-end cinema camera for feature film shoots, specialized lighting equipment for a music video or audio gear for a podcast, we've got you covered. And with our easy online booking system, you can reserve the gear you need in just a few clicks. Check us out online at sgpstudios.com. The best for your baby is at thebesttoys.com. From the best strollers, car seats, baby carriers, high chairs, booster seats, rockers, jumpers and bouncers, walkers, baby blankets, feeding accessories, bathtubs, gyms and playmats, playpens, cribs, baby swings, changing tables, diaper bags, clothing and accessories, and the widest range of educational toys. We carry Infantino, Dr. Brown, Avent, Graco, Chico, Fisher Price, VTech, Leapfrog, Disney Baby, Delta Children, Medela, and Twist Shake. Visit us in store at First Floor Movie Town Port of Spain, Forces Flagship Match Bean, Eastgate Small Trin City, M6 Plaza Endeavor, or shop online now at thebesttoys.com. We have the best toys at the best prices. Fast forward now to 2024. Mm. I mean, I see in, uh, in the background there the situation ship video. Yes. I, I myself was asking you about the, the exotic backdrop and thing. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was Morocco. <laughs> uh, but, but that's Greece, right? Yes, yes Greece. How, 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 how was it in terms of filming? Could they speak? Yeah, they, they speak Greek. They both. You know, they speak English fluently and, and yeah, they, they speak in Greek as well. Um, but it was really nice. It's something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to shoot a video in Greece. And the reason for that is I'm a huge fan of Shah Rukh Khan. Ah, and one of okay. his movies, uh, Chelte Chelte, yeah. uh, there were two songs from that movie that was filmed there. In Greece? In Greece. Yeah. And I wanted to get that kind of vibe. But when you actually go to Greece, it's like a whole different vibe. And it, it is even more beautiful than you think it is. Yeah. And I said like, yo, we had to shoot this video here. And a funny story. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> We shoot that video, right? Yeah. And we had no audio, we had no writing, we had no song. 
So you it, just a cappella in there? So if you look at the shots, you yeah. can actually see me singing. I was just like, just dancing. Oh, you're just doing emotions. And emotions. <laughs> so we did like three different takes. I speed at 110 BPM, I right. speed at 125, and I speed at 135. So we did it like that. So in case we decide, whatever we decide to do with this song, we oh. just wanted the footage. Oh, okay, <laughs> so okay, This okay, whole okay. production was wrong side. We shouldn't even do first before we even had this song. Serious? <laughs> So you shoot the video before you had the song? Yeah, because we was in Greece already. I was I'm not leaving Greece without a video. And you just shoot a video doing actions? And... Yeah, because my manager was like, so with the song. I was like, I don't have a song. He's like, well, we we'll be shooting. Let me just shoot. And you just made it. Yeah, because I'm watching, the, I'm watching it's just a lot of actions. and Yeah, if you, you know, look at these Santorini shots, you know, yeah. just, it's just me like just vibes. And... Snapping fingers. Yeah. And how was, how was the seafood in Greece? You know, they say Greece yeah, have a lot of weird the food, seafood. Nah, the food was really good, boy. Really, really, really good. It's one of the best. It's one of the best breakfasts I ever had. Mm, what you had for like, breakfast? Um, they, they had the omelets. They had um, like salmon. They had shrimp. They had... Uh, all kind of thing, but honestly, but, but yeah, you sound like you enjoy that trip. Yeah, I probably eat some things on that trip. I never, I didn't know I eat, but it tastes real good. <laughs> it tastes real good. It tastes real good. <laughs> so, 2024. I mean, we were discussing earlier, and you said you had like about six, seven releases. Yes. So far, so mm. far for the year, what, mm -hmm. what, what are they? I have a song called um, "Nonstop" with GBM. Right. I have. A... And it's not your first time working with GBM. Oh no, nah, definitely yeah, that. You then. always, yeah. You know, neutral and them boys and yeah. them boys. Yeah. Um, I did a song with with Re Rebel in New York. It's called uh, "I Didn't Mean It." It's a real nice groovy song. I did a song with Nessa Preppy, um, "Drinks." Yeah, yeah. And then I did another track with um, Problem Child called "All I Want." All I want is alcohol. I don't want no smoke. So, real bad. It's a real bad groovy song as well. So, so that that is soca. Yeah. Because we we also discussing, I mean, you, you did a lot more soca tracks than you normally do. Yeah, this, this year, year, this year I did more soca tracks uh, than Shut Me Soca. Uh, <laughs> strange enough, people was like, so we did Shut Me. <laughs> I was like, so I mean, off air we were, we were talking about that, like yeah. people would tend to stereotype me as just Shut Me Soca and Rum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I I do all types of music. Uh, like it's just on, like for carnival. I, every year I realize that people are just be waiting for that Shut Me Soca from Rami B. Yeah, they waiting. I but mean, we all so waiting. But what about the Soca songs? You know, like yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I do Soca music too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because so. I mean, people they look forward to that. Uh, I guess start the Chutney season. <laughs> King start, kick start the Chutney season. They waiting on Rami. What Rami have, boy? <laughs> yes. And and how is that? How is that pressure though? In terms of you know, every year expected to bring this Chutney song that we and take the market. Yeah, I mean, it, it is it, it is um, a lot of pressure because I just don't want to do Bollywood and Chutney Soka as well. I want to do Soka music as well. Soka. Yeah. Um, I really love Soka. And, um, but of course, I don't want to damn the bridge that I cross with Chutney Soka. I love, don't get me wrong, I love my Chutney Soka music. And, I, and I, you're one of the main representatives of Chutney Soka. Yes, I love my Chutney Soka. I mean, I, I will listen to my Rakesh and my Rasika and everything like that. But, um, <clears throat> I just want to evolve into different genres of music and like I want to experience, um, experiment on reggae, dancehall, yeah. soca music and it's carnival time. Yeah. So the best time to really experience soca and experiment on it is during carnival or before carnival going up into the thing. But again, you know, you would, you would release the soca songs, it's nice songs. Um, my, or like I would play it for all the DJs and everybody, they would like it and everything like that. But like, um, I don't know, like, People is like, okay, yeah, yeah, nice, but where you chat me? Where you chat me? Where you chat me? Where you chat me? It's like, ah, uh, don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 because people look forward for that. Yes. Uh, uh, Ravi, I mean, you and, and your band, uh, you, Nisha, and your band, Karma, I mean, you are uh, seasoned in mm -hmm. terms of touring. Uh, oh, yes. What are some of the, the, the best, most memorable locations that you've been to? Wow. Um, and, and, and concerts or mm. shows you guys have done? That's a tough one, boy. I mean, we've been to some places. What's some, what's some um, strangest places you've been? Strangest places? Like, like you know, like these people, wow, you come out here and the first time they're probably experiencing this, this Chutney Soka or this Soka. Hmm, I have to think about that one, boy. Um, Alberta is really nice, though. Alberta? Yeah, we, we yeah, performed yeah. there. Um, it's, it's a small market, but they, they, they really love it. There's a lot of Fiji people there. Okay. That that came out. Well, based on the last time I, I performed there, yeah. um, there were a lot of Fiji people coming out to support us, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, but in terms of performing, what, some of my favorite places are uh, definitely Toronto, um, Guyana, Kagura. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've Guyana. been to 
uh, to Ghana twice with Ravi and boy, it was red <laughs> carpet like we never seen red so before. Scarlet red, you know. <laughs> uh, Suriname is a nice market too. Uh, we vented there for Pagua. Right. Um, there's a huge Pagua festival there. When I'm talking about festival, I'm talking about like EDM festival, you know. Serious? Yeah, it just this is like thousands of people and big stages wow. high up in the sky. Um, just partying and, and they, they, would, they would collaborate uh, Karma with ED, um, EDM DJs from Europe and whatnot. Big so festival. big as yeah, 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 they, they take, they take Pagua to the next level. I, I mean, I've, I've been trying to introduce that in Trinidad as well, but you know, it's, it's a little tricky here yeah, with the politics and whatnot that because um, it's so deemed um, religious, you know? All right, so right, right. So your car, it kind of catch it as far. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the things we would like to do with Pagua and Holi, how they celebrated outside of Trinidad, like in, even in India, how they celebrated in India is like EDM festival, like that. But um, in Trinidad, as I say, Trinidad, I think we, still we will eventually get there. A bit more pious but, here. Um, that, that's actually one of the weirdest things I've, I've witnessed, but in a very cool way. It, like, because when we went to perform for Pagua, I was like, okay, it's, it's going to be like the real traditional white wear and everybody spraying each other. When I reach here, people just... People pumping. Yeah, and I'm talking about tens of thousands of people. Like at EDM festival, that's, that's how they do it. So it's And it's not unique. only traditional East Indian music or anything no, like that. No, it's, it's not traditional. No, it's everything. It's soca. And it so happened that same night, Marshall was there too. Okay. In, the, in, a, in, a, in another festival, right, right down the street. Right. So he was right. right down the street and we was right up the road and it was real cool. Like and everybody just came out. It was amazing. Wow. Well, I would I would love to I would love to recognize a dream here to see that because in I remember. Trinidad, yeah. yeah, I remember I mean growing up. I grew up in San Juan San Juan. And um, Arang West Savannah yeah, was the boy. place we used to go down Arang West Savannah as, 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 as youth men and, yeah. and we in the Pagua, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody there and it used to, I mean, I've seen it, you know, dwindle and that kind of thing, but I would love to see it back again. Yeah. But to me, Arang West Savannah is the Pagua headquarters. Mm -hmm. It everybody is Everybody used to come there. It is. Yeah, so maybe sometime in the future we could experiment more on that and see how far we could take it yeah let, let's see let's see i mean you you also i mean speaking about parties and so on you're also a promoter yes in terms of um your, your event homecoming mm -hmm. how, how how is that going oh it, it's really good you know last year it was sold out you know it's my only event for the year in San Grande, you know so yeah. it's something i like to you know, like it's it's nice to return home now you yes, know yes and um we would go up in Sangue Grande, I would meet all my friends, I invite all my friends from school and everybody would just come out and um, have a, a, a amazing, last year we had an amazing cast, uh, the, the event was sold out at Tantra Terraces and uh, we're doing it back again this year. The best birthday gifts are at thebesttoys.com. Shop for the best brands you love at the best prices like VTech, Leapfrog, Fisher Price, Play-Doh, Hot Wheels, Bobby, Coco Melon, LOL, Baby Alive, Crayola, Lego, Nerf, and Remote Control Vehicles, Kids Learning Desks and Educational Toys, Ride-Ons, Bikes, Drones, Science Toys, and Board Games and Puzzles, and a wide range of baby items. We also have the best devices for school, like laptops, the Amazon Fire 7 tablet, the Amazon Fire 8, 10, and Kids Edition tabs, as well as cases and accessories. Visit us in store at First Floor Movie Town Port of Spain, Forces Flagship Match Bean, Eastgate Small Trin City, M6 Plaza Endeavor, or shop online now at dbesttoys.com. We have the best toys at the best prices. In terms of the, 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 the chutney market mm. and, and the, the, well, I'll speak specifically about the chutney market. Mm. Where, where do you see it going? Um, I think the chutney soccer market is doing uh, pretty well, you know, and we will continue to work hard and uh, see how far we can take it to the next level. That's, that's the dream for me, honestly, to really take chutney soccer to, to that mainstream level now. Yeah. And uh, I'm not, not saying that we're not mainstream yet, but we are there in certain parts of the world we are. But um, I really think there's a lot more to be done. Yeah. And um, yeah. And, and have mainstream topics and that kind of thing. Yeah, But yeah, that's yeah. another mainstream thing too. Mainstream topics. I mean, there's so much talent in our industry, like in Chutney Soka. Uh, not only Chutney Soka, but most of the Chutney Soka artists could, could switch up into Bollywood, 
they could sing bhajans as well or they could get creative and do their own things you know like so it, i think it's a really cool market to tap into chapi soka is cool yeah. let's just put it like that yeah and uh i think me personally i would like to to spread that more now, to show the people how cool chapi soka can be yeah and 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 how you could um attack various topics yeah yeah, yeah definitely not only the the obvious yeah the obvious uh, the obvious rum yeah, and rum tabanka and wine and jam and yeah, yeah yeah but there are other things that you can attack in that same fashion yeah in yeah. terms of make it cool mm -hmm. as, as you would say um that's chutney that's chutney what is next for karma what is next for karma? As a band, as a movement, as a brand. Yes, um, there's a lot of things, you know, like um, my store. I yeah. recently started my online store, which is doing really well. Actually, I started it last year for Carnival. And it's doing really well. I'm selling my merch online. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, congratulations it, on yeah, that. It, it, and it, 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 really, it really worked out for me that way. Um, because instead of us having the t-shirts in the venue and then you had to worry about the tent thing. Yeah, 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 yeah that the rainfall, yeah, what the man, Jay-Z gone, Mr. Nogai. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's online and um, that's one of the movements that do with Karma are trying to like really push the store. And, the, and in terms of live performances and whatnot, the usual, right after Carnival, we out. Um, same thing, we getting ready for Pagua in Suriname. We have Guyana, Crash of the Titans coming up. Um, we have New York on the 16th of March. Wow. Um, yeah, so basically so every year. So your dates are set. Every year after Carnival, March and April, basically, we'll be out of the country. Right. And then we might we may slip in back uh, for Easter weekend for one day, and then we'll be out again and mo until Mother's Day. Um, I don't think I'll be performing publicly in Trinidad until uh, my my father's day concert in Son of Excellence in wow. June. That's in June. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be you'll be out, and when even if you're in, you're in for a little time. Take a rest, and you're gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I'm in, it's like more like private. It's like private events, I mean, But I try, I'm trying not to do too much of public events until um, until your show. My my yeah, the Father's, Father's Day show. Yeah, guys, that's a real meaningful show to, to me now. It's like dedicated to my dad. Yeah. And, you know, he passed away in 2008. Yeah, condolences on that. Yes, yeah, so and we do like all the Bollywood songs and, and bring down like a Bollywood act. And then last year, that was really cool. Yeah. And yeah. I feel it. I feel mm. it. I feel it. Um, in terms of the store, Avi, how, 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 how folks can get to go oh, to the store? To, yeah, in terms you, of you online. just go online www.ravibstore.com. Ravi, B or Brie? <laughs> <laughs> we have to, to be specific here. It's Ravi B, yeah? Ravi B. Ravi B. Yeah. And, and, if, and if people want to, you know, follow the progress of, of Karma, Ravi B, mm. uh, Nisha B, the whole team, you yes. know? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we, we, we recently opened our Instagram for Karma, uh, separated from Ravi B and Nisha B. Right. Uh, we, we was kind of pumping it through those two social media, yeah. Nisha and yeah. Ravi. Uh, but now we open, it's called Karma Live. So you can go check it out on Instagram and on Facebook. Of course, my pages on Facebook, Nisha. We have our Instagram pages. Um, just just look for, I guess, type in Ravi B or Ravi B Karma. Yeah. Rav, Ravi B Karma. Yeah. Let me, let me ask you, I'm throwing this one out at you. Mm -hmm. um, if you had to say what is your favorite destination that Caribbean Airlines is flying to, where would you say it would be? I had to say Orlando. 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 That's, a, that's a favorite of mine too. I mean, <laughs> I always say if I had to put just out in the US, the first one I want to put just is in Orlando. Yeah, I mean, like out, out of performing and everything, if it's just for vacation, it's out. If, I, if Ravi B is missing, yeah. if it's one place in the world, you'll find them, it's Orlando. 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 Yeah, Orlando. I love Disney World. Uh, Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, uh, you, I guess you've visited all the parks and yeah, all yeah. the five parks and, mm -hmm. and all that. Have you stayed in Disney as well? Yeah, we stayed once. On yeah, the I, I, yeah, I just love it, bro. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's just a happy place now. For mm -hmm. me, it's just happy. It's like my happy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, you could, like, people just think that you could visit all the parks in one day. <laughs> you take your whole day to walk one park, you know, Jared. <laughs> And try the rides and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, so that's something. And I, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, like me. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It's just different. Uh, like that whole feeling, just cool. I really love that direct flight with Caribbean Airlines. Straight, yeah, Street. one time. You see that thing to stop in Miami yeah, and go yeah, through the yeah, immigration yeah. there, and then you had to come and take an explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, see that yeah, direct yeah. flight, Caribbean Airlines. I love all of that. I can, yeah. I can see that probably. One time. You're in. <laughs> So, so Ravi Boy, it was a pleasure. As, yes. as per usual, I mean, we wish you all the best for, for 2024. 
and then your Father's Day concert coming up in, in, in June. June. Yes. Um, we look forward to see what we know. We go follow Karma, Karma Live. Karma Ban. Karma Ban Live yeah. to, to see what's happening. See if you're in Orlando, mm. sneaking a, a holiday <laughs> back and forth and, and all of that. So, all the best, you know, brother. Yeah, thank you very yeah, much, man. man. Thanks, Carnival 2024 20, and beyond, man. 24, Carnival. What do you mean? Ravi Bri. <laughs> this is the man here. <laughs> this is the man here. This is the man here. Hey, that was another episode here, Jam Session on CNC3. Um, I am Ansel Blaze Isaac Jr. This is the Bodo champion, <laughs> Ravi B. So I should say Brodo then. Yeah, Brodo! <laughs> <laughs>